a historic day for the Dutch today in terms of sports. So today, our women of the football team has won the European Cup for the first time in history. So congratulations! <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? It's Levi Ellis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way. So it's easy for you to digest. So today, I'm continuing my research on Genesis Mining and I will show you that over a period of time, it's actually less profitable to invest money into Genesis Mining versus just buying coins directly on the exchange. And people on YouTube are giving the assumption that the Dash difficulty is fluctuating up and down and that it hardly increases. But actually, I will show you that it increases a lot on a monthly base. So before you start commenting, Please be aware that this is the fourth episode of my research and I would suggest to watch every single previous episode to understand the use case. So in this video I will not go very much into the details because those are explained already in the other episodes but I just want to let you know how much percentage less money you have received in July versus the previous month. So let's go! So if you look back at the very first video before I did a real comparison with my payouts in Genesis Mining, I made the assumption that the average difficulty increase for Dash is approximately 24.84%. So if we look back at the difficulty increase in June, we can see that it had increased with 34%. So it seemed that my assumption of 24.84% was pretty conservative. So let's see how the month of July had performed. So if I scroll up to the end of July, we can see that in the month of July, the difficulty had increased with 28.56% compared to the previous month. And as you can see, Genesis Mining did not pay out on some days. And here on the 29th, it seems that I received more. So they tried to compensate, I guess, the day that they didn't pay it out. But if you look at the average payout per day, I should receive approximately 0 0.1479 dash but these are one two three four five days that i didn't receive anything and on the sixth day i only received 0 0.499 so there's something fishy going on right here same goes for this day where is this payout nevertheless that's not what this video is about but that should also keep you thinking, of course, in terms of the credibility and legitimacy. So let's now see what the average difficulty increase is based on the last two months. So the average difficulty increase is approximately 31.42% right now. So that's still higher than the assumption that I made before I did the research, which was based on 24.84%. Yeah, isn't that a reality check, guys? <laughs> yeah, of course, I should not be happy because I've also invested in that. But that's the whole purpose of this video, just to make you all aware that you should really think twice before investing in Genesis Mining. Or you can get more coins whenever you just buy it. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.